Welcome to this week's EMBN show. We've got a great show lined up for you as always. This week, we're taking a look at the brand new White Bikes E160. Holy moly, that does look good. Yes, we've also got Where in the World, Chris, Bike Vault, plus all the latest news. Right then, Chris, it's mm -hmm. a new bike day in a way, isn't it? So it is. White have just released their 2023 E160, and it's a belter, and it's had some major upgrades. Run us through a few, buddy. So it's had a reprofile down tube, which in turn lets it sit that big 750 watt hour battery from Bosch in there. So in wow. turn, that's going to give you a load more range. And they've got that great rail system, so it slides into the down tube super easy on this. That's clever. They've enlarged the head tube, so it matches the 38 mm stanchion forks that becoming pretty much the norm on e-bikes these And days. that's just to make things stiffer, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it makes it stiffer and also makes it look a bit more, you know, in place with the bigger stanchions yeah, as well. Yeah, I get it. Skinny head tube, you've got this big fat fork, sometimes it looks a bit funky, doesn't it? Yeah, very true. And they've also lowered the battery in the frame, so they used to have the battery connection at the top of the down tube, right. they've moved it down to the motor now, so in turn they've been able to slide the battery down the down tube and in turn move that weight down low, and as you know, weight down low on an e-bike gives it great handling, yeah. even better than the previous model. Holy smokes, mm. that's some that's good things right there. Yes, changes. there's actually more choices on colours, mm -hmm. build specs mm -hmm. and wheel sizes as well. So yep. you can really get the exact mm -hmm. bike that you want. So I've got here the S-Spec base level bike comes with XT link glide components. So really, you know, they're thinking about some quality components there. Yeah, I think that's quite a big one, isn't it? Especially on these cheaper bikes that we sometimes see mm. the chain and cassette wear out super quick. Yes. Obviously with that link glide stuff, you've got way more material on the cassette and yep. stronger chains. So it's good to see White thinking about yep. those components that yep. they're putting on and the bikes. It's not just actually, there's not just 27.5s, mm. which is actually available on their extra small and small models. Mm. They've got mullets, they've mm -hmm. got mixed wheel sizes yep. in there as well, and full 29ers mm -hmm. on the bigger sizes. So they're really, I mean, they are covering all of those bases. Definitely. If there's a base, they've got it covered. <laughs> and they've also got that Shape It link on there as well, so meaning you can adjust the geometry of the bike. So yep. if you want to be you know, heading down for, say, a bike park day or going for a downhill day, uplift Lovely. day, you can make that bike a bit lower and slacker as well. And also if you want to swap that setup, so you did have full 29er on there, you could uh, change that link and be able to put a 27.5. Nice. Uh, tire a wheel on the back of that bike that's cool and uh, changing that link out yeah now that s spec bike that i did mention is coming in at 6399 great british pounds uh and it's got a zeb the link glide xt and trp brakes yeah you don't see pretty, them too often actually, good which package, is cool. as i yeah. mentioned yeah there's loads of cool stuff yeah. going on there and we've actually got this cool clip of daryl brown showing how easy it is to remove the tire off the back of your oh, white bike e160 roll check this out <laughs> right, Chris, mm -hmm. more special fancy bike time. Mm -hmm. So Lapierre have just released a 75th anniversary of their Overvolt with a rather fancy paint job. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I can't yeah. believe they've been around for 75 I know. years. It's a long time, I didn't it? think they were that long, to be Obviously, fair. Obviously, the e-bikes haven't been around for as long as that. But yeah, this is the Overvolt. Um, the thing is with these bikes, the 75th anniversary bikes, they come with a box in there, which has a special book in there. Uh, commemorating the 75 years of Lapierre, and you get some custom sunglasses nice. too. Nice, those will look sick in your full face. <laughs> exactly, it looks so ah, good, doesn't it? Oh, wicked, that is cool. I mean, to be fair, Bosch motor, 750 watt hour, mixed wheels with the Mavics on there, those yeah. ED Maxes. Mm -hmm. 160 mil travel, it's a pretty legit thing, isn't it? It is looking pretty good, isn't it? Got a full SRAM Eagle group set on Oof. there. Um, you know, it's looking pretty bling, isn't it? And uh, that's coming at 7,199 great like British pounds. Um, I think that's a good price for something that is pretty legit. It's a one-off, yeah, isn't it, one really? It's a one-off. Yeah. yeah, nice. old uh, paint job. Very nice. And the last thing that caught my eye this week in the news was Hans Ray and Jack Carthy both having a bit of a trial session on their e-bikes. Legends. And it's good to see Jack obviously being a lot younger than Hans and Hans' expertise coming in. It was a bit of a, a battle off in the woods with these guys, but yeah. using their motor guards and hooking up and Jack just looking so comfortable on that orange, <sighs> just doing loads of back I don't know stuff. how they do it. I know, especially on a bike that weighs so much, but having a load of fun in the woods, that's what it's about, right? Too flipping <laughs> right, buddy. <laughs> right, let's get out and about and see where you guys and girls have been riding your e-bikes. We've got a great entry in this week from Christine out in BC with her trail crew. Absolutely oh, shredding yes. this helter scout feature. What do you think to this, Rich? I love a bit of woodwork. Mm. Yeah, uh, real fun. It's a big loop. That, well, I could, it's a, like a horizontal loop the loop. 
A horizontal loop. Yeah, because you're not going upside down, you're going around and around. <laughs> that, makes, yeah, that makes sense in my head. I think it's cool to see uh, everyone riding it different ways as well. You've got yes. Christine actually going up it using that e-power, and the other guys, I think it's Scott and uh, one of her other friends, yeah. cruising down it. I miss having features like this. Out I do woods. too, mate, actually. Mm -hmm. So out when we did the bike show the other day, uh, bike festival, I mm -hmm. should say, uh, we did the Evil Eye line, which actually had a bit of woodwork in it. I was oh, like, nice. yes, bring yeah. this back. I hit a few of those wall rides. Yeah, and stuff some of the well. skinnies and yeah, stuff yeah. as well. We yeah, actually, was, I was going to say, we used to have a full on park, didn't we? Just down the road of Bristol. High Action, no, what's it called? Uh, High Action North Shore or something. But yeah. it had all sorts like teeter tots. It did, it did. Sea it sores. Bring it back, I say. Yeah, More woodwork. Okay. I tell you what, if you are out mm -hmm. and about, mm -hmm. send us in your woodwork. Mm -hmm. But not like your shelves and stuff, I mean like riding things. <laughs> yeah, make sure you use that upload service and details for that are down in the description below. Yep. Chris, it's been a while since I've been to a bit of a shop and I kind of want to look as cool as you. As cool as this? Where could I get one of those tops? Well, EMEN the shop, we've got loads of stuff nice. in there. T-shirts, jerseys, socks, hats, race jerseys. Everything kit you out, Rich. Get out of this GMBN merch. No. Oh, come on. No, in all seriousness, if you want to head over to the shop, it is a great way of showing your love and supporting the channel. So, uh, yep, you can find a link for that down below. Right, it's time for all the comments and all the recent videos that we've done here on EMBN. And Steve did a really cool video recently mm, about the ultimate all-round ride on the ultimate all-round e-mountain bike. Yeah. Out on that bike. Lovely um, bike. And we wanted to know what your perfect day was on your e-mountain bike. <sighs> yeah. Got some great, uh, great comments in. Do you want to kick it off? Darren, yeah. He's saying, uh, this is Darren Dark. He says, countryside with woods and fields, probably a mountain or large hill. Nice weather, not full sun. Nice gentle ride to the top of the mountain hill or the hill. Some food, drink, then a mad fast downhill in race mode. No accidents, no punctures, no dramas. Perfect. I mean, that does sound pretty mm. good, yes. Uh, Steve good Sapala. Love these trail rides. It reminds me of my Jeep days venturing into the woods. Currently, I have a mountain bike, but looking forward to my retirement next year and getting into one of the e-mountain bikes. Mm. Just eating up this content and dreaming of the day I can get out like Steve. He does have some good days Steve out, is finally out and about. It's good to see. <laughs> uh, last comment is from Ian Collins. He says, fantastic video, Steve. Nice to see a video about the ride as well as a bike. Awesome. Devil's Staircase is a must. Brilliant way to capture your ride, terrain, bike. Loving the enthusiasm, especially the cake. <sighs> yes, please. Love a bit oh, of cake. These are all great suggestions. Have you ridden everyone. that Devil's Staircase at Wales? No. It must have been there. Come on, it must be on the GMBN video. But yeah, cake, Devil's Staircase, that sound good. Yeah. Nice oh, one. Nice. Give him the horn then, Joey. Horn eye up. Oh! <laughs> 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 okay, Chris, right. what have we got? We have got a great bike vault this week, and kicking things off, we've got this in a nice sun sunset shot. Why do I say that wrong? A shot? Sunset Hold shot on, from uh, Ross out in Swinley Forest. He's got a uh, specialised Levo here. Um, nice Very nice. This, it's a love. It? Do you know I've got one problem with this picture? What's that? And I'm going to be pretty firm on these today, Chris. Uh, it's non drive sides. Ah, uh, come on. No, sorry, EMBN viewers. That's just a nice, is it? We want to see drive side. Okay. Right. Isn't it? It's really nice, though. Next, so we've got this bike from Slim or Slime? How do you say that? S I'd go. <laughs> sl slim. Slim. Uh, he's got a whole bike hard seven oh out in Marple Bridge. Uh, throwing my hard tail around like it's a full suspension bike. Uploaded just for fun to see if my bottom of the range high bike can get some love. And I think it will, won't it? Do you know what? Super nice. <laughs> I like how he's got all the accessories. Look, there's even two mud guards on the back. I'm just looking Chain at how camouflage those handlebars and stem oh, uh, yeah. bars and that are in those yeah, that's uh, mental. leaves, isn't it? He's got everything on there. Good man. Love nice a good slim. hard tail. Okay, right, next we've got Hans White E160 mm -hmm. from the South Downs Way in West Sussex. Heck of a ride that, innit? It is, I've done it once before. Yeah. And hail and driving sideways, wind yeah. is horrendous. God. Probably. Wind blowing stuff everywhere, all over you. Horrible, Super isn't it? Wet, yeah, oh, good. you got soaked. Especially if you're going past a cow. You got soaked, didn't you? I did, by a <laughs> cow taking a wee about 20 foot away from me on the surface. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a shower on the uh, South Downs. But he's out uh, oh. having a morning ride with his friend, just brought a new rear wheel for his bike yeah. and it exploded, unfortunately, on the way. So, Oh, gutted, mate. Yeah. What do you think of that shot? Uh, do you know what? I think that's just super nice. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to... Good job, Hans. That is super nice. Well, next up, 
Jim's 2021 Specialized Levo Mullet mm -hmm. from Hampstead Forest. Beautiful morning ride around my local trail centre. No finer way to start a Sunday. Agreed. But Jim. It is. Jim. Jim. You're a harsh man. I am. We got a pro because it's non dry side, Jim. Why does a bike it's... have to be dry side? Come on. Because it just looks better. You see all the gears and you just, mm. it just looks cooler. Harsh. Jim, I do like the picture though, mate. What about this one from uh, Matthew? He's got a Trek Powerfly 9.9 .9 out in Braintree at the Discovery Centre. First ride out on his new uh, bike. Yeah, nice. Stealthy looking bike. That, I like it? that a lot. That's a super nice for me because yeah. one, I like the weird modern art thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the stealthy bike. I think that's really cool. I like the way he propped it up as well. Is that a stick? Yeah, propping stealth up the, stick. Propping up the motor. Yeah, yeah. nice one. Uh, super nice. One, Matthew. Sure, Go on. yeah. Give it a horn. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> right. Next up, we've got Andrew. He's got a Nuke Proof Megawatt Factory oh, Edition jealous. and Coda Brennan uh, midweek solo ride. Just about to drop in on Beefy. 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 Yes. Great. Uh, do you know what? I really like these bikes. Mm -hmm. These are these are cool. I've ridden one, but I don't have one. Oh, I've got to get the order in on that. I do. It's, uh, are we super nicing it? I think so. Have you honked the honker? You can. Yeah. Uh, next up, we've got Troy. He's got a 2022 Giant Trance Advance out in Ford, Washington, in the US of A. Took this one after convincing some family members to try out an e-bike for the first time. I think convinced a lot of them uh, how fun it really is. Yeah, I mean, I'm liking that. Is that a Zeb up front? I think so. Yeah, stealthy Zeb is very stealthy, isn't it? Isn't it's it? a Old very Bat stealthy bike. If Batman had an e-bike, I think that would be it. Batman, right? yes, I like it. But I also like the picture, you know, mm -hmm. the sun setting and the yeah. blue sky. I'm going to super nice it, Chris. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Careful with that horn. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Next up, we've got uh, Jean Pablo. He's got a Fantic XF1 out in Cerro Bayo in Patagonia, exploring new places that he's never e-biked before. Wow. Wow, look at that. Hell of a shot, isn't it? Yes. Uh, go on, go for it. <laughs> do you know what? I let Definitely. that one slide because it's non drive size. Oh, but I was like, do you know what? Patagonia. Exactly. And a Fantic. Yeah. Oh, we're on to the final bike now. What do you think of this? So, this is uh, Chris's uh, 2022 Trek Rail 9.8 out in Laguna Beach. Probably riding my hands right out there. Took a snap with my new track rail on its maiden voyage. First oh. e-bike, and I'm now. Well, hooked. that's just a super nice, it's a cool story. And that actually wasn't the last bike, was it? I made. Don't cower story. away from the horn. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the last. Oh, bike. hang on, a bonus bike. Go yeah. for it. Uh, so this is in from Wing. It's got a Cube Preaction Pro Plus uh, out in Heiko Dam in Halifax. Just finished the upgrading of it. With loads of new parts on there. Out for a bit of hardtail yeah. action. All sorts going on on this, mm. isn't there? Looks like a big ride as well. Uh, so he's put XT, mm -hmm. uh, XT brakes, lyrics on it, reverb, SRAM X01 chain, access on there. I mean, Full he's shot. gone to town on it. Yeah, what are we I think. thinking? I think that's got to be uh, super nice as well for getting Go the on. custom, Go custom on. on that hard tail for sure. Nice. But very, very it. super nice. For the end of the bike vault and for this week's show. So get involved in the comments box down below. What do you think about that new white E160? Mm, it's a good yes. looking bike with some great components on there. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you get involved in the comments box down below and we shall see you next week.